Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another feature of cooking with Trish. I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in a hot minute. So I was like, today is the day. So I recently bought this new crock pot, okay? I've never used a crock pot before. I already opened it just to save time on the video, but this is how it looks. Yeah, so this is a crock pot from Walmart. It was not expensive at all. Like there was some options of obviously like more expensive crock pots, like higher end crock pots, but I've never used one. I don't even know like if I'm gonna like it. So I was like, you know what? Let me go for the standard version. This one was about like $20. It's definitely, um, you can look at it more of like an investment because if you do really like to cook in here, you won't be buying as much food out, which is what I'm going for. Everyone tells me when they do crock pot dinners, they're fast, like quick and delicious. So that's really what I'm going for, especially now since I'm trying to lose weight. I need to like meal prep and I just need, I have a lot of things going on. So this is practical. If you have a busy schedule, this is practical. If you want quick and delicious meals, okay? If you have like a family, if you're going out a lot, if you have school, y'all know the drill. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this right here, I'm gonna just read you guys um, the quart size just in case you guys couldn't really see it too well. It's the four quart. Um, it feeds four plus people, which for the most part, I mean, I usually only have three people in my household. So if I do cook, it will feed all of us. But like I said, this is also so that I can meal prep. So it's really not, not a big problem how many people it feeds. It has three heat settings, which are the normal like um, low, high, and warm. I've used a crock pot I think once before when I had to like babysit some kids and they loved it. They liked how I cooked it and stuff, but really the mom did majority of it. So I don't know, I just kind of like observed. So it does have those three heat settings, which are your low, high and warm. Um, high is definitely if you want to cook it in a lower amount of time. So for example, chicken thighs can cook, I believe in two hours on high versus if it was on low, it would be four hours. So you can just like cut the time in half if you do decide to put it on on high. People often use a low setting though, like the low um, mode because they'll go do a whole bunch of errands, they'll go to work, they'll do an activity, yada, 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 and you can leave it there all day. When you get back, your dinner will be made, but if you need it quick, it can still be done quick from what I hear. We're gonna try all this stuff out today because I've never, like, I've never heard this, I've never used this, so we'll see. And then warm is just nice if you wanna keep it in there, literally just warm until everyone's ready to eat, till you're ready to eat, till, you know, whoever's ready to eat and then obviously you have like your off button for when you want to turn it off so like i said i'm super excited to try this um i got this at walmart this is the regular classic crock pot twenty dollars super super affordable and i'm just very very pumped so let's go ahead and get into it in today's video in today's recipe i am going to be making um barbecue chicken thighs so if you're new here or maybe if i haven't elaborated about it enough in my other videos i am trying to do like a no carb diet there are certain things i do eat that have a little bit of carbs but for the most part like pasta rice potatoes bread i'm trying to cut that off um almost all of it off <laughs> simply because that's what results best with my body in order for me to lose weight so that's really what i'm trying to do obviously sometimes i do eat my bread and chicken tenders so that is a little bit of carbs but it's okay because i'll have it like on top of a salad or something and it's just all about balance and i'm also exercising and yeah so if you want to learn how to make some barbecue chicken hopefully this turns out good um i already picked out my seasonings and stuff so i'm not gonna keep in. let's just go ahead and get into it you can pair this with rice or pasta or something else i'm just gonna pair it by itself and then make some salad later and show y'all okay so let me show you guys everything i bought for this video okay so i literally bought these boneless skinless chicken thighs at walmart as well this pack right here was nine dollars and two cents which is like super super affordable i do like the meat from Publix a lot but i just so happen to be at walmart and i bought it there i know people say Publix is more expensive i do find their meat to sometimes be higher quality than other supermarkets but i'm not like a bougie person like that where i'm like i only eat Publix meat so i was like i'm at walmart i'm going to eat chicken thighs from walmart <laughs> okay so that's literally what i bought use any chicken thigh you want or any chicken you want and yeah Apparently when you put it in a crock pot literally like you can just put it all in there You don't have to season this ahead of time or anything. So I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna try out the full experience. I usually season my chicken right after it defrosts, which this has been defrosting for a few hours now But people tell me literally place your chicken thighs in the crock pot place your seasonings. So 
I'm gonna follow directions, okay? So I already set up my crock pot right there. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys have a better angle. I'm also going to get, I think, a little bit of oil. I don't know if I have to like oil the crock pot before I put stuff in it, kind of like you would to a pan, but I, I might just add a little bit of oil because you can't go wrong with that. I like to use extra virgin olive oil simply because it is a little healthier. And yeah, I'm just gonna get to opening this stuff up. This is boneless and skinless, so I don't have to peel off that white skin. But if it wasn't, I would I would personally peel it off. I know some people like to eat it, but that's not healthy. So it's up to you, okay? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, before we get started, did y'all like, comment, and subscribe? Because if you didn't, Pause the video, like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. We're on a road to 5K. Let's get it. And let's go ahead and get started on these chicken thighs. All right, guys. So I have all my ingredients set up here. Here is the crock pot. I already plugged it in. And then here are my chicken thighs. And right here are some of the seasonings I'm going to be using. Because I am trying to lose weight and tell you guys that I am doing carb-free, I'm also trying to do salt-free just so that I don't have high sodium high cholesterol so right here these dash seasonings are super good for that they're all salt free and they come in different flavors so this is their table blend you also have your southwest chipotle this is like if you like spicy stuff like more of a um, spice of a seasoning this is definitely the way to go southwest chipotle and they also have your chicken mr dash salt free grilling blending um seasoning so this definitely is something that i would put on my chicken normally and you can combine obviously seasonings and there's a lot more flavors at the stores i buy these at publix i like to get them when they're bogo buy one get one free <laughs> but these are amazing these are just some of the ones i have and i absolutely love them so mr dash definitely the way to go if you're trying to watch your salt which essentially might help you lose weight i also have some garlic powder from badia i might use some of the regular um garlic that comes from the from the little glass container i have it in the fridge i just haven't taken it out and then some cayenne pepper i do like a little bit of spice and of course it wouldn't be barbecue chicken without your barbecue sauce i'm using sweet baby ray's hickory and brown sugar a lot of these chicken thigh recipes call for brown sugar in the recipe um, but I just thought that this barbecue sauce already had it so it would be less of a mess and more quick Okay, that's what we're going for. That's the whole reason behind this crock pot. So here are all my Ingredients here is the crock pot by the way. I feel like I didn't show you guys you have the black stuff here that actually removes So it, it comes off. Okay, I'm not gonna take it completely off because I'm trying to record on my other hand <laughs> but this is what you would clean and then the bottom is fine so literally like when you're done using this you just remove this out and you can wash that and it's just super convenient and mess free and then right here are your settings you have your off low high and warm so i'm gonna put it probably on high whenever i make this but i want to throw everything in there first so let's go ahead and get started all right so i'm gonna go ahead and open my thighs up with this knife i already washed my hands so you guys don't have to worry about that there is a little bit of fat on your chicken thighs. You can literally just take that off with your hands and just open up all your chicken thighs. All right. All right, so I'm gonna place some of the thighs in there. I think I'm only gonna do about four or five. Actually, I'll just do the whole thing. All right, so they're all going in there spread them apart i was able to take out the fat on some of them not all of them like these need definitely their fat to be taken off you could do it with a knife with your hand or it'll probably just cook out and you guys can just take it out when you eat it all right so here's my extra virgin olive oil that i'm going to be using to drizzle on top of the chicken thighs you can zoom in now to the chicken thighs. So I'm just gonna place a little bit, I don't know how much. So we did that. And then I also have here some minced garlic. This is what I was talking to you guys about. If you put a little bit of this, you won't have to put as much onion powder or garlic powder. And that's gonna be better because anything natural is better than processed. Okay, I might have to have my cameraman open this because I cannot. All right, so now I'm gonna get some of my minced garlic and put it on top. I don't think I have to really like spread it out a whole bunch. People tell me that all the flavors kind of mix in there, but I'm still gonna spread it out just a little bit. All right. 
next up we have all the seasonings i'm super excited we'll go ahead and start with the garlic powder now none of this is like a set recipe i'm just kind of like going by eye so hopefully this all tastes good that we need our mr dash chicken blend this is definitely what's going to give it that flavor A little bit of that Southwest Chipotle. I do like a little bit of spice. You're gonna get your table blend. What? Let me use these. Shake this. You can do a little bit of cayenne pepper if you want a stronger spice. your sweet baby rays hickory brown sugar barbecue sauce all right here i'm going to put this on high and i will definitely come back when it's sizzling so stay in tune other than that everything was pretty easy so I hope it turns out just as delicious. Stay watching. All right, so I'm not sure if we were supposed to mix it or not, but I just went ahead and mixed it just to see if like my seasoning and sauce had been proportion, um, proportional to how much meat was in there. So I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more seasoning because they are a lot of chicken thighs in there. Um, and we do like our seasoning. We are Hispanic, okay? Island people love their seasoning. And then some more sauce. So that should be good. I set it on high and I think it said it's going to be about two hours. Sorry for all that noise. I think they definitely said it is supposed to be ready in two hours, but I will let you guys know if it takes longer. Hopefully it doesn't because we are hungry. That's how it's looking. All up in there. Yes, sir. Yummy. All right, guys, so excuse the poor lighting, but I never really got to update you guys on how delicious that chicken really was. So long story short, I ended up eating it. Um, I did have to take out some of the juice, but I kept it as is. It did lack a little bit of seasoning, but because I'm on a diet, i rather it be like under seasoned than over seasoned so i was completely happy with the way i did it um obviously it was a lot and i ended up shredding it which you guys could have just kept the thighs as is i ended up shredding mine and i would just eat from the um, crock pot you know depending on what time i was hungry or you know i would save some for the next day all i had to do was put it back in the fridge and then warm it back up in the crock pot and it would be easy dinner easy lunch easy snack okay so it was really convenient for me to have um that chicken already in the fridge for me and you could honestly have put any sauce on it but the barbecue sauce was delicious so what i would do is i would just pour myself my portion and then add my barbecue sauce according to how much i liked i didn't mix it all up in there towards the end because um i rather have done it myself so with that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and conclude today's video thank you guys so much for watching i really encourage you guys to try it the crock pot is amazing so i would definitely give it a 10 out of 10 um and in regards to what i made if you have taste buds like mine you would enjoy it it was my first time but there are really good recipes out there so i plan to follow like maybe a recipe next time a little bit more to the core okay because i kind of did my own thing on this one but i'm literally about to go use my crock pot right now and make another recipe so thank you guys so much for watching and stay in tune for another video of cooking with trish don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye